Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley again um, for my third video review. Thanks for tuning in. If you like it, or if you like what I have to say about shows and movies, just like and subscribe. Um, today is going to be um, The Vampire Diaries TV show. Um, it is probably my favorite TV show. Um, so, this show has lasted eight seasons, which is incredible for a show it aired on the cw network um a network that is extremely underrated um i think that the cw has done such an incredible job with making some of the best tv shows and it really stands out from all the other networks that are just procedural stuff um the vampire diaries is such an incredible show it has such rich history story emotion I mean, the whole cast and everything is just such, so incredibly talented at what they do. Um, for example, Nina Dobrev, um, she is probably the most underrated actress in the entire world. She can snap in and out of characters without even thinking about it. She is absolutely one of the most talented and incredible actresses ever period and a story um i think that julie pleck and kevin williamson did an incredible job with creating such a rich detailed story i know that the first season gets a lot of flack for kind of being twilight-ish but these vampires are not twilight-ish they don't sparkle they don't do any of that they're very vicious creatures um the werewolves that are in it are really cool they have vampires werewolves witches hybrids sirens um travelers uh they they have so many supernatural they have the originals they have so many um supernatural mythological creatures that they intertwine in the story and everything and i think that it's just it's just an excellent show it's on netflix all eight seasons it's incredible obviously I have well, sorry here this is the one through four but I mean I have every single I have all the seasons on blu-ray um, the first season was good um, it, obviously, every first season is, <sighs> feels like it's the slowest because they have to introduce all the characters and everything. <clears throat> now, The Vampire Diaries is based on a book series, and in my opinion, this, I mean, it could be completely different from your guys's, but in my opinion, the Vampire Diaries TV show Firstly, it has nothing to do with the books. It's based on a book series. It has nothing to do with the books other than characters and name. Um, but that's an excellent thing because... I don't want to say anything bad about the books because everyone has their own perception of the story and everything. But I believe that the show is far superior to the books. Um... I, uh, they just did so much more with the characters and they went above and beyond to make it the best show that they could. So the first season obviously is the slowest because they have to introduce all the characters and everything. Um, and then from the season finale of the first season on is an extreme roller coaster. It has action and romance and um just so much emotion and story this is the only this oh not the only this is one of the only this is actually the first show that i actually enjoyed the flashbacks of the show i don't i don't really care for flashbacks when it comes to movies and shows and stuff like that i, I mean i do understand that they serve a purpose and everything but I didn't enjoy, it wasn't, 
like these flashbacks were entertaining they were engaging i love them the only other show that i actually loved the flashbacks more were was in once upon a time once upon a time has excellent flashbacks excellent but that's a story for a different day um so um, the first season was slow i had to introduce all the characters and all that stuff um but it was good it so you know entertained you and you know but from the finale onwards it was an extreme roller coaster the second and third seasons were so incredible the fourth season was really great. Um, the fifth season, up until episode 16, was excellent. There was a lot of emotion, a lot of really crazy stuff going on. But I wasn't really... I didn't really like the last, like, from 16 to 22. I don't... I didn't, I didn't like that of season five. Um, I wasn't in, as engaged, probably because, um, I don't know. They should have just ended the season on episode 15 or maybe spread it out a little bit, but I don't know. Um, season six was emotional. It was they had they had more emotion going on in season six than like I don't know romancing and you know all that good stuff they had more I think it was more human they had more you were more emotionally invested. You really felt season six. I really loved season six. I enjoyed it. I cried a lot. My friends cried a lot. My mom cried a lot. It was all good. Um, <clears throat> then, I don't, I don't want to give any spoilers away. I'm not a spoiler kind of person. But when Nina Dobrev exited at the finale of season six, I feel like the writers... I think that they knew which direction they wanted to go, but I don't know. I think that season seven stumbled. I mean, it was still good. It had a lot of action and stuff like that, and but I wasn't, I don't know. I found the heretics annoying, um, and that had a lot of back and forth stuff going on. I mean, it was it was really crazy. Um, I mean, it was an experimental season, but that one I don't think worked out very well. I mean, it was still good. It was still good. But um, I, I think that they had lost their way when it came to the show in season seven. But season eight, they rebounded big time. Like, they... I think that they pretended that season seven didn't even happen because season eight was so in just incredible. It brought back um, a rich story, new rich mythology. It really, it really stepped it up. It was an excellent, an excellent final season from start to finish, and. They could not have came up with a better series finale than what they did. There's no possible way that they could have came up with a better series. I think that was the best series finale ever made for any show. I truly believe that. I think that they really went above and beyond. They made it very impactful. It had so much... Um, had so much action and drama and it had so much oh, it had so much emotion um you'll probably cry 70 percent of the episode but you know but um I, I really do feel like they really you know went out with a bang i'm really really glad that julie pleck and everybody wanted to end 
the series on a high note instead of letting it drag out and because you know series can only go so far until storylines are blah but I really do feel that they went above and beyond to go out with a bang and they literally did um and it really just I mean I can't say enough great things about the Vampire Diaries. Paul Wesley, Ian Summerhalder, Cat Graham, um, Michael Malarkey, um, just everybody, everybody. Like, the writing was so excellent, the pacing was so excellent, the story was incredible. The story was a roller coaster from start to finish. Everybody did so excellent. I don't it's going to be really extremely hard for anybody to really top that when it comes to just going crazy with a story and going wild with what they could do with, you know, a story and everything. And that just, Julie Plack, you're awesome. Kevin Williamson, you're awesome. There's just, you guys work magic. That's what it is. It's magic. So, um, I highly recommend The Vampire Diaries to everybody. You can watch the first eight seasons on Netflix. It aired on the CW Network. Again, the CW Network is so underrated. Um, <clears throat> it's my favorite network. I could go on and on and on about their shows, but The Vampire Diaries just... Oh, guys, watch it and you'll find out. Um... Obviously, get past the first season and you're going to be in it. It's so it's just so incredible. It's crazy. So, um, check it out if you haven't. Um, I highly recommend it. Obviously, it's, it's my favorite. So, um, I, it's just amazing. So... Sometimes it leaves me speechless. It has so many twists and turns, and it's so shocking. The shock value is so incredible. I think that they did a really intelligent job with the the shock value, and I think that I believe that because you have to have actors that are excellent to pull shock value off, and like I said, the the actors and actresses of the Vampire Diaries are so underrated. I mean, I can go on and on and on about Nina Dobrev because the way that she could... Her ability to snap in and out of characters without even thinking is just pure... It's like watching twin sisters, because they're literally two different people, play two different roles in the same show... But she's not, because from one character to another, she not only, her appearance, like, her hair is completely different, her makeup is completely different, the way that she walks is completely different, which is really weird, um, her confidence level, even her acting, like, Catherine Pierce, let's, let's talk about Catherine Pierce for a second. Catherine Pierce is probably one of the best characters ever written, and Nina Dobrev really went above and beyond to really bring her to life. Um, she was my favorite character of the series, and I know everybody's going to give me a little flack for that because she was the villain and everything, but I view her as a tragic character. Um, she's... <sighs> So many bad things have happened to her in her, I don't want to say past life, but in her past. I mean, she wasn't born evil. Life made her that way. And I really love that they acknowledge that in the fifth season of The Vampire Diaries um, from Elena's perspective. And um, because that's, that's truly right. Um, but... She is such a multi-dimensional character. She is so rich 
in her story and everything, and she's, yes, she's the villain, but she has a tragic character, but she's the villain. Um, but I don't really know how to even talk about her because there's just so many great things and bad things that you can say about Catherine Pierce. Um, but I love how snarky she was. I love how intelligent. Oh my god. So incredible. And, um, she really brought the humor to the show. Um, she went, oh my god, Nina Dobrev went above and beyond, and it was incredible. It really, <sighs> you would have to watch it. I don't want to give any spoilers away, because it's really, you have to watch it. It's worth watching. So, um, why don't you go do that? <laughs> And um, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you like my review, comment below. And, um, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. And until next time, have a great day, guys.